Hey everyone, today I wanna to tell you about five items that I absolutely love having in my office workspace. So, spoiler alert, I do not have an office, which is totally fine. I don't necessarily need one, but these few items actually make it feel like it is a true office as opposed to just a desk in the corner of my guest room. And I really, really love that. So, you know, if I decide to go back to teaching for VIP Kid or I need a nice space to work on my planners or I mean, this wasn't super exciting, but I had to work on our taxes the other night. Um, or if a friend comes and stays with us or a family and they need to work remotely, like there is a space and making it was really fun. And there were a few things I added that truly made it feel like a workspace. So I wanna go ahead and show you some of my favorite things. Okay, item number one are the reusable candle jars. Now, a few things about this. I know I made a video about this and I've already talked about this, but let me just tell you something. There are 51, I know my video before I said 50, but there are 51 pens and highlighters in here. And this thing I think has like 46. This one isn't as pretty, um, but you've got scissors and pencils and like the big ones, like the dry erase markers. And I just have yet to find a pen situation holder that will hold like a hundred things for you. Now, one question I got a lot is how do you make it spin? And actually I realized now that I have two jars here, one spins a little bit and the other doesn't at all. And it's dependent upon the lid. So again, this is not super important, but just wanted to show you that this lid right here, it's kind of textured spins. And this one with the white barn does not regardless. It doesn't really matter, but these jars just look clean. They look neat. I mean, especially this one, they sit on my desk and if I need to move them, it's not like I have pencils and pens everywhere and I'm trying to like get everything together. I can just take them, move them to the side and they just hold so much. So item number one, these are my favorite. Item number two is my dry erase board. So a few things about this. Sometimes when I am working my planner, um, and if you're a planner person, maybe you know this, you start a, like a weekly spread or a monthly spread and you're like, I know how I want this to go. And then you start with your pens and your washi tape and your stickers and you get there and you're like, that wasn't what I wanted. And you're like, it's maybe you could do a little work to fix it, but you're just like a little bit too far into it. So sometimes it's nice to do a little bit of like brainstorming or practice here on a dry erase board. Now, this is also a great spot to put post-its or notes or reminders if you wanna use it as a workspace. And one other thing that I did is I went to the Dollar Tree. So this is actually from Target, but I went to the Dollar Tree. I bought a $1 picture frame and I used paint tape on the back of this. And so now this just stands up. Now, is it pretty in the back? No. Who sees the back? Nobody. And it's been like this for a while and it's like really hung in there. So I definitely recommend this. Uh, it is a dry erase board so you can write on it, but also it's magnetic. So that's great too. So definitely something that can help you stay organized in your workspace. Next item up is this cube. Okay, so I know I've mentioned VIP Kid a few times and when I was a teacher, I used to have these puppets and then when I left teaching, I like couldn't throw away the puppets. I was like emotionally attached and if any of my former students are watching, they will be like, yeah, she was, she was something else with the puppets. But anyway, I wound up using them for VIP Kid and I collected like a few things I would use and then it's our guest room as well as my little workspace. And I've collected things and I wind up with things and you have tchotchkes and you're just like, what am I gonna do with all of this? And you want your workspace to look nice. So this fabric bin, I think it was from Walmart, is here and it is hiding everything. So it's nice to have a space where you have like miscellaneous things that you don't want all over your desk. You can just put them in there, tuck them away and it makes the room look a lot neater. The next item is a standard paper calendar. So I actually wasn't sure if I would use this, but my sister found one for me in the Target dollars section and it was really cute. So I was like, well, at the very least, I'll hang it up for decoration. And I actually love it because it's nice sometimes, especially because I spend so much time in my planner on the weekly view. So if I'm doing that instead of back and forth between the monthly and the weekly, which I could, it's nice to be able to just see it hanging on my wall and see what days of the week, like events fall on which day of the week and things like that. So it's really nice if you're going to work from home, I definitely recommend a paper calendar like that so that you can just do a quick at a glance and just see what's going on for the month. And it can also be good to write goals down if you aren't an actual paper planner person, having a mini calendar in your workspace area can be really helpful. And the last item I saved the best for last. I have a confession though first is that I actually am like quite a slob. Um, I feel like people don't know this about me because on paper and 
with events and schedules, I'm very organized, but I tend to accumulate a lot of things which presents itself and manifests into a gigantic mess usually on my desk. Any desk, my teaching desk, my at-home desk, any desk that I have ever had. As a matter of fact, sometimes I will just go to set up a desk and my husband will be like, why are you putting a desk there? And I'll be like, because I wanna work there. And he's like, you're not gonna work there. It's just going to accumulate things. And I'm like, maybe this time it won't, but like, he's right. I just have so much junk that just, I mean like books, papers, old planners, stickers, mail, more mail. I don't know why I'm like always avoiding going through mail, but anyway. I digress. The point is that I wanted to keep my desk neat. So I ordered this thing from Amazon. I looked and looked and looked because they had a bunch of options and I picked something that I really thought was going to be the best for this problem. And it has been, I've had it for about two months now and it has been amazing. So it's this tiered thing where there are slots for, I believe there are five slots for different papers, mail, things like that. Then under it is an open area. And then below that is a tray and it holds so much. So I will say, that I love that you could at the bottom put pens and stuff, but since I have these, I don't need that. So I put all of my notepads and my post-its there. And then on the second shelf, I just put miscellaneous items. But the top storage is where it has been a game changer because all of this would have to go somewhere and I wouldn't want it cluttering my desk. So all of the tax documents that just came in, like I was saying a few minutes ago, I was working on my taxes. So I had a slot for the mail, um, a slot for all of that. I have stickers, I have my planner, I have a calendar from last year that I still reference sometimes. I have so much there and it just keeps everything so nice and neat. So this is like my number one favorite purchase. I really like it. I know they sell things like this at Target and Walmart and Staples, but I just cannot recommend having some type of desk organizer highly enough, especially if you are a person like me that is just so extremely prone to clutter. So this is my absolute favorite item. Cannot recommend it enough. Anyway, there you have it. My five favorite things that I have put in my little office workspace area. And I'll give you one bonus thing, a sixth item, is that I had an old bulletin board that I gave to my sister and she repurposed. And then she didn't want it anymore and she gave it back to me and I've repurposed it again with a piece of cheap fabric and some old scrapbook paper. And actually it came out looking really cute and it's just nice in case I wanna hang things on there. It could be something, you know, like a, a calendar or paper or something that's a reminder, but I can also put push pins there and hang other things like for example, example, I just got blue light glasses so that if I'm looking at a computer screen for a while, it doesn't give me a headache. And so I hang all of my glasses there because again, it keeps everything off the desk. So if you get a cheap bulletin board or you can repurpose an old one, that can be a really nice addition to make it look like a really cute workspace area versus just a desk in the corner. So I hope that was useful. I hope all of this was useful. And if you have any other tips or ideas of things that you can use in your office workspace area to make it more functional and more enjoyable, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did like subscribe and I will see you next time.